Hi, you guys. Wow, more feuds. What's going on out there? It's so crazy. So let's talk about a feud between Erica Jane and Sutton Strack that I think is going to play out a little bit on the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, recently, Page Six did some sort of staged interview with Sutton, and she had this to say about Erica Jane Girardi. I thought it would interest you, and then I'm going to comment about it. All right, so let's hear what Sutton said. Be a moment of you seeing her show in Vegas? You want to go see her dancing in Vegas? Should we go? I want to see it. I feel like she would really I'm appreciate that. I'm very busy this fall. <laughs> I'm busy. I don't she, listen to podcasts. Er, Erica told Teddy and Tamara that Sutton was allegedly messy this season. That's because she had a lobotomy and she she wasn't talking. Somebody had to talk. <laughs> so, I don't know if you saw, but Erica Jane's residency tickets were selling for $1. Uh, oh, I thought there were seven. I thought there were seven. One dollar. <laughs> even if you were charged one dollar, would you see her residency? Would everyone like to go to the Erica Jane? Because <laughs> <laughs> I think I can swing it. So here we go. Bravo snark side. I love her. She captured this uh, image. It was actually uh, somebody named Martianis with Eddie that originally posted this. I think I even retweeted it because it was interesting. But... There were a few people posting these types of posts in Gossip Land a few days ago, and it was essentially people saying that they went to look for Erica Jane Girardi seats, and they were going for anywhere from $1 to $7. And so people were like, wow, you know, Erica's kind of, I guess, hitting some hard times with trying to move the seats for them to drop that low. Now, I didn't validate this gossip. It was certainly being spread, but it could have been just haters. However, wow, page six is shady for calling it out like fact. I wonder if they validated it and saying it to Sutton to get her to respond and sort of perpetuate the rumor. Uh, Can't blame Erica for trying to make money and do what she likes to do. Uh, Unfortunately, her reputation and image has been completely tainted by the way she's behaved on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills during the Tom Girardi scandal, which has hurt so many people in so many ways. And although she's distanced herself in it, she's still implicated by her proximity to him and the fact that, you know, her main excuse for everything is like, look, I spent a ton of money and I'm sorry if it was someone else's money, but I didn't know. And people are just like, that's not good enough. And of course, she's so very cold. It's very challenging to care about Erica because she comes off really just brutally cold. The ice queen, I think the fans call her. And she really does live up to that identity. Look how she talks about Tom Girardi. So supposedly this is like the man of her dreams, the guy that she's loved no matter what, even though he's like a grandpa for years. And, you know, she owes him so much. He took care of her son and took her in when she had nothing and gave her this huge life and got her on the show, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and all this stuff. But then now when he needs her the most, because he's suffering from illness, supposedly Alzheimer's, supposedly, and all these other things, she's like, "Mm, sounds like his problem. Let me play you something. I don't know who visits him, to be perfectly honest. But I do know that when I watched him walk into the courthouse to be indicted, he looked terrible. And the holes in the sweater and just, I think he's blind in one eye and he just looked really unhealthy and like he's been through a lot and um, that was not the smiling, blue-eyed, crystal-eyed man that I knew. And so... It's a combination of age and sickness and I'm sure all of this stress too. I mean, you know, this is a horrible way to end a a really, what once was a very celebrated law career. To end up here, I'm sure for him is horrible. But he would never admit that. But in other words, this man gave you like 30 years of his life and all his money and like is going to go to jail for all the money that he gave to you so you could live out your dreams. But now that he's all these things, she just said, bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. 
right? Just saying. That should teach you guys out there that are thinking like, oh, I know I'll buy some lady and do all this stuff for her and in the end she'll be there to take care of me in my older years. Guess what? Apparently not. I want to mention that is an latimes.com video if you want to see more of that. It's part of their uh, content. Guys, no, the prosecutors don't believe that Tom Girardi is as broken as Erica seems to say. Although he looks terrible, you can see in my videos Tom going into court. That's what she's referring to, by the way. I took a a screen grab of it and put it in my YouTube videos. If you guys want to see it, you can see it says like Tom Girardi going to court. That's what she's referring to. And yeah, he looks terrible, but maybe he's trying to look terrible. What's pretty astonishing that nobody goes to visit him after all the money he gave to people. See, money buys you nothing. I have a quick feud to mention. Did you guys know that Jen Shaw sent a cease and desist to Monica Garcia back in 2021 from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, the newbie, because she supposedly removed footage from her house without her permission and leaked it to social media accounts? But I bet she also maybe leaked it to the FBI. Just saying. Thought it was on point just because of the feud topic. Speaking of tea, go watch the Dana Bowie Negret live that I just dropped on Friday. I don't know if some of you guys uh, didn't see it, but basically uh, Dana was on season three of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, and she tells us gossip and lots of fun stuff and insight on things to do with Real Housewives of Salt Lake City season four after watching episode one. So don't miss that live. It's so good and it's concise. It was only an hour. It's pretty obvious that Sutton's struggling from some health issues. She had an eye infection the same day she took this picture with Jeff Lewis. She didn't know how her eye got so swollen. Uh, they thought she might have an eye infection but she hadn't gotten antibiotics yet. But anyway, she goes to the interview with this like crazy eye. Um, but you know, what a pro. And then <laughs> look at her legs in the picture, okay? Look at this. We were talking about this, Kim D and I, in our live the other day. I mean, her legs, if there is no filter being used on this, and yes, it could be the angle, everyone looking thin, but I mean, her legs, look at them. What is happening here? Her legs are smaller than this chicken's legs. That's how small her legs look. And I think they deleted the picture, but people had already gotten it. Well, you know why Erica, Jane, Girardi, and Sutton don't get along, besides the fact that Sutton was the only one that called out Erica, Jane, Girardi's like lawsuits in detail on, I don't know, few, yeah, what is it, like season 10 or 11, I can't remember now, of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Also, allegedly, Erica Jane and Lisa Renna were trying to make a storyline for season 11 that Sutton drinks really early in the morning and maybe has a drinking issue. And it, it never made it into the storyline. The producers cut it out. They're obviously protecting Sutton. They're giving Sutton a really good edit because fans love her. Maybe that's why. I don't know how the, what makes the producers like choose people and stuff, but they do. So anyway, that was the rumor. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. <laughs>